Hello, this is Southern ASMR Sounds. I've come to you today to show you a video of my mom's coin collection. It's a collection that she started when she was a kid, and uh, she was born in 1939. And I keep, well, she keeps everything in this tin. This is an old cookie tin that belonged to my great great aunt. And it's uh, pretty old, as you can probably tell. It's uh, made out of metal, and it has a candle on it, so it was a Christmas tin. And pretty designs. And it looks like some folded silk here. And little pine cones. And some little branches and sprigs from a pine tree. And to display some of the bills that I have in here, I have this little tiny easel. It's made out of wood, and I bought this because I have a little, like a little picture. It's about that big, and it looks like a painting, but it's actually not, but it looks like a painting of some really pretty flowers. And I wanted to find a tiny easel to set it on so it would look like a little painting, but I couldn't find a, a tiny easel, so I put the picture away in a place where I thought I wouldn't lose it <laughs> and now I don't remember where that place is so I have the easel and no painting I thought I would put it to use hopefully I'll find the, the little picture before I lose the easel which I will probably <laughs> um, so I'm going to set that there and we can put we can place the bills on here for a display so now we're going to open the tin And it's very shiny, very reflective. It's still in pretty good shape to be as old as it is. I'm going to set this aside. And in here we have all kinds of good things. I'm going to try to keep everything um, sorted the way that it is. So um, in case my mom had these sorted in a particular way, they will stay that way. And the first thing I have is this. I'm going to move this up just a bit. It is a little um, lacquered box. It's made out of wood. It's very lightweight. And when you open it up, you can see it has beautiful green velvet inside. I would like for you to hear this velvet because it is so soft and it's so lovely. And you can hear the side of the box. So here we have a bunch of coins. I'm going to sort them in um, order of type as we go. And these are all pretty old. All the pennies in here are wheat pennies, and this one is from 1943. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 1942. And hopefully you can see, this is the back, and it says one cent, United States of America. And most of this money is from the United States. Some of it is from other countries that um, my brother and my dad were both in the Navy and they traveled a bit. My brother went to more countries than my dad did. Um, and most of the money is from trips that my brother made and he would bring back, or he would send back um, coins and bills to my mom from his trips and from the different places he went to. And in my opinion, I would like to say that um, I think that the United States had truly <clears throat> beautiful money in the past. I think it was more artistic and just prettier. It was, we had beautiful money. And the money that we have now is just, in my opinion, is a little more, it just looks fake. It looks like Monopoly money. It just looks cartoonish almost. And even the coins sound different. 
Uh, they sound more tinny and light, and they are more lightweight than these older examples. But most of these wheat pennies are from the 40s in this box. Um, I know that because I started to do this video earlier and my laptop died because I forgot to plug it up. <laughs> so I already know what's in here. <laughs> uh, well, this one's from 1920. It's pretty nice. And they have, they're called wheat pennies because on the back you have what look like, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like little stalks of wheat on each side. And here are three of them. And we're going to put the pennies here. And I'm going to sort them by their worth. And some more wheat pennies. I love the sound of these pennies. They just sound so nice. I'm going to hold them up where you can hear them a little better. In the sound of this money, I, I apologize for the <laughs> delay. <laughs> uh, when I make these videos, please understand that I have children here. I always have at least two kids. Sometimes I have five kids here. <laughs> so it's not always easy to keep them quiet. <laughs> but listen to this money. I have a handful of pennies. I have about eight. They're just lovely. And next, I have a Liberty Dime. This one is from 1942. And our dimes don't look anything like this now. On the back, it says the United States of America, one dime. And I'll leave room for the nickels right here. And these are two more Liberty Dimes. One is from 1941, and one is from 1942. And this one is from 1944. And this is what is known as a Buffalo Nickel now, all the nickels in here are buffalo nickels, but they're so old and worn that I can't read the dates on any of them. But on the front, you have a picture of um, a Native American man. And on the back is a buffalo. That's why they call them buffalo nickels. And it says, um, the United States of America, five cents. But I have no idea how old any of these are because the, um, the date and everything is just, everything on the front is just worn away. Uh, here's a quarter from 1948. It has George Washington on it. And it says, Liberty and God We Trust, 1948. And on the back, you have the eagle. And it says, United States of America, e pluribus unum which is Latin for out of many, one, which as you probably know, you know, the United States has a long history of um, 
immigrants from all over the world coming here and, and living here as Americans. And, you know, most of us have um, pretty diverse ancestries. Um, you know, I, I call myself a mutt. I think we're mostly mutts. You know, I have um, English and Scottish, uh, Welsh and um, German. There's a lot of different <laughs> stuff in my background. So, you know, I don't think about myself in those terms. I'm just, I'm an American. You know, I, that's what I am. That's, that's me, you know. It's the essence of being American. You, you can, it doesn't matter what your background is. You can come here and do anything you like. You can live your own life and be yourself. And it says quarter dollar. So there's a quarter. And I have another quarter from 1940, which is the year my dad was born. It's held up pretty well. It's a little worn. You can see right along the edges, it's pretty worn. And this one is a half dollar. Liberty, 1964. It says, In God We Trust. And on the back, you have the eagle. And it says half dollar. So it's worth 50 cents. The quarter is worth 25 cents. The dime is worth 10 cents. And the nickel is worth 5 cents. And the pennies are worth 1 cent. In another quarter from 1940. Here's another half dollar from 1966. It's in pretty good shape. And the edges um, have ridges on them, as do the quarters. Well, these are pretty worn down, but <laughs> it did have ridges. And two more quarters, one from 1940, one from 1944. And a half dollar from 1964. This one's pretty shiny. It's a nice one. It's hard to see with the glare. I apologize for that. The light's not coming in like I want it to. These are all buffalo nickels. Would you like to hear how buffalo nickels sound together? I'll let you hear the buffalo nickels together. Two more. One more wheat penny from 1940. And one more, li oh, I'm sorry, two more Liberty Dimes. This one's really pretty, it's really shiny. It's from uh, 1944, but it looks great. And this one isn't so shiny. It's from uh, 1942. And here's the back. And I'm going to return these to their box. I really have to get these back to my mom. <laughs> she lent me this box probably two months ago. And because uh, I told her I wanted to do a video with these coins. And she's probably wondering what I've done with her money. <laughs> and because I was supposed to return them a while ago. I need to reassure her that I haven't taken them to a pawn shop or a coin seller. <laughs> you know, I still have them. So that's the little box full of coins. <clears throat> and I'm going to move on here. This is a silver dollar from 1990 that someone has placed inside a plastic bag. I'm going to leave it in the bag. 
but it's very pretty very shiny I'm not sure who bought this but it's pretty heavy too it's amazing how heavy they are they've got a nice weight and here I have this was an old envelope that apparently somebody got some prints of some pictures in and you can tell uh, it's, it's pretty old <laughs> order extra prints now and my brother wrote his name on here uh, January 29th, 1978. Send a snapshot. Everyone loves pictures. They say more than a letter can. Well, these days, nobody sends letters or pictures. <laughs> it's kind of sad. And we're going to start with the, the, uh, the paper money, the bills first. There are some coins in here. This is mostly uh, foreign currency um, that... Some of it, I believe, came from my brother during his travels with the Navy. He was a nuke. He was in the, the nuclear program, and he was on a nuclear uh, carrier for quite some time. Uh, he went to the, the um, nuke school in Florida. I can't remember the name of it right now, but he came out with the highest score, highest grades of anyone who had ever attended and he received a special commendation for that. It's very, very smart. It wasn't fun following him in school because he was just an academic superstar. And <laughs> I mean, I did okay, but I wasn't like him. And I always felt like I let my teachers down <laughs> because I wasn't a brainiac like my brother. Anyway, this is a $1 bill from Canada. As you can see, it has uh, Bank of Canada on here in English and French. And here's the back. It's very pretty. Very nice detail to it. It has it in English and French for one. Uh, and one. Let's see. I'll set them up here. All right. Now, these, I'm not really sure where they came from. These are probably some that my brother sent to my mom. Whatever it is, it's a hundred of something. <laughs> um, and here's the other side. And here's another example. And this is a thousand of something. <laughs> uh, I apologize for my lack of knowledge about this. I don't know. these. I think these come from Turkey. I could be wrong. I have several of these. This one's a little in a little bit better condition. And another one. And this one's a little more beat up. I'm thinking they're probably not worth much for my brother to have sent so many of these. Here's 5,000 of whatever it is. This guy looks kind of depressed. I think he's sad because he didn't get on the 10,000 note. <laughs> That's two little dots. That's interesting. This one's a little more rough. And here's the 10,000 note. And here's the back. Very pretty. Now this is a United States $1 bill. I kept this in here. Well, I, don't, I didn't keep it in here, but I know my mom kept it in here. I remember this one I always liked when I was a kid. It's from 1969, but the thing that's different about it is it's a misprint. The back is yellow. It's supposed to be the same basic color as the front, but look at the back. It's not a counterfeit. It's, it's real. It was just a, um, like I messed up. So that's why we kept this one. So I'm going to put these back in the order that they were in.
And there are a few coins in here, which I'll show you. Feels like there's something else. Oh yeah, there's more. It's a little tiny one. I can't get my hand on it. Oh, another one. These are so little, I missed them before. Okay, we'll start with the big one. And this is from Mexico. Uh, it's dated 1919. The back is very, uh, very worn down. You can't even really see it. Um, here's the front. Um, I'm really not sure how much it's worth. I can't really, re it's, it, yeah, I don't know what that says, but, no, I'm sorry. Actually, I don't think this came from Mexico. I don't know where this came from. Hmm, it's really old. It's this 1919. And this is a Canadian, uh, I believe it's a quarter from 1972. And these are from Vietnam and my dad was in the Vietnam War and and he was over there for about seven months in uh, 1966 67 uh, he was stationed in Quezon he was a CB which uh, a CB stands for combat battalion they build and fight and he saw a lot over there that he uh, didn't really talk about much for a long time. And these are, this one is from 1966, and this one I can't really read the date, but it's worth five dong. So, that's that. And this is, okay, this is the one from Mexico. And it's 20 centavos. 1965. Uh, I should say 20 centavos, I guess. I don't really speak Spanish. I'll just pick that up. We have a lot of uh, Mexicans in my area. A lot of people from originally from Mexico. It was like a bird holding a snake. Pretty cool. My dad, uh, when he came back to the United States, was stationed in uh, San Diego for a while. And he went to Tijuana several times. And I'm sure he picked this up on one of his trips down there. This is a Canadian dime from 1949. Ten cents. You know what? Let's see. This kind of reminds me of this. Maybe this is Canadian also. Uh, just the writing on it makes me think that this is also make, um, Canadian. Um, but it's a lot older. And <laughs> there's a 1973 penny in here <laughs> from the United States. I'm thinking that's probably because I was born in 73, but I could just be full of myself. <laughs> I, I don't, it may just be in there by mistake. I don't know. <laughs> And most of the rest of the money I have, I believe, is from the United States. Let me get it back in there nice and neat. Sorry, my laptop is trying to run updates and I'm postponing it. If it starts to update, it will stop me. <laughs> Mid-video. I've had it do that before. I don't want it to happen again. Alright. In here. 
Now, if you are from the United States and you're more than maybe 30 years old, you may not have seen one of these unless you know a coin collector or somebody who collects old money. These are silver certificates. This one is from 1953 and it's $5 as Abraham Lincoln on it. And it says this certificate is legal tender for all debts, public and private. And here's the back. And, and $5 bills don't really look like this anymore, but this is from 1953. And here is another silver certificate for $1 from 1935. And this is what it looks like on the back. And finally, one more silver certificate, also 1935. And there's some brown stuff on it. I'll put the pretty one in front. Well, prettier. <laughs> and there's some money in here. Some coins. We have two coins. This first one. This is a silver dollar from 1921. The United States. Silver dollar. Look how thick that is. Look at that. And it also has ridges on the side. And it's quite heavy. Very pretty. I can't quite get it where you can see it. And that's the silver dollar. And this is a half dollar from 1940. It's very pretty with the sun rising in the back, or setting in the back. And it says United States of America, e pluribus unum, half dollar. Okay. Sorry, I keep bumping you. I'm a little clumsy today. whole stack of bills here. Not the kind of bills you have to pay, the good kind of bills. <laughs> okay. Um, these are mostly $1 silver certificates from 1957. And as you can see, up at the top, it says, Silver Certificate. The United States of America. $1. 1957. And most of these are the same. These are all from is a regular dollar from 1969 and I'm not really sure what the significance of this dollar is um, somebody wrote on it Charles Dunlap me something last I'm not really sure why that's in here and then we have a two dollar bill with Thomas Jefferson this is from 1976 and this is what it looks like on the back it's the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. This is a 1978 $2 bill. And this is another one from 78. Here's one from 1953. And this one is funny. It looks a little different. And the back is different. <laughs> but the funny thing about it to me... <laughs> Is that somebody wrote on here, Camel R Filter, which I take that to mean Camel Regular Filter Cigarettes. Somebody probably sent their kid to the store and wanted to make sure they got the right kind of cigarettes. So they gave them the money and wrote Camel Regular Filter on there. That might not be why it's on there, but that's my guess. I'm going to put these back in the order that they were in.
And we'll just set these right here. Now, I have two sets of uncirculated coins. One is from the Philadelphia Mint, and one is from the Denver Mint. And they are both from 1960. This one is from the Philadelphia Mint. And we have a half dollar, quarter, nickel, dime, and penny. And this is what it looks like on the back. This one is from the Denver Mint. Half dollar, quarter, nickel, dime, and penny. And the little certificate. And this is the back. I would like to let you hear what the packaging sounds like. set these over here on top of the envelopes. Okay. And I'm not really sure who put these together. These are various coins wrapped in plastic and taped. And they're a little crinkly. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to straighten them out. Flatten them a little bit. This looks like it was originally kept in a three-ring binder because of these holes. And but at some point somebody folded it to fit into the box, into the tin. Let's see what we have. I'm going to try to hold these where you can see. Hmm. It looks like they're turned the more this way. I think we're looking at the back. I should probably turn it over. And some of these are kind of hard to read. Oh. This is from... In commemoration of your visit with the mayor. <laughs> Is that? Let's see. Uh, from Los Angeles, found in 1781. And this looks like a. Sorry, this is shining. This looks like some sort of a, a fair. It says good for one fair, F A R E. I can't really read it though. I don't know, it has a Y on it. Some of these are very hard to read. I'm sorry. Elizabeth II. I'm guessing this is Canadian. Yep. A Canadian dollar. 1964. Here's another one of the Vietnamese um, five dong. Here's some money with a hole in it. <laughs> and it has some sort of writing that I don't recognize. 50 something I can't read. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's another one with a hole in it. Looks like a tiny record. Um, and that's some more of the Vietnamese money. Um, yeah, a lot of these, I'm not really sure what they are. Here's one. Oh, it's hard to hold. Here's one with a little bird on it. <laughs> I'll do better with the next batch of money, I promise. I'm going to put that over here. I, I wasn't very helpful with that, was I? And in here, here's an old dime rolling paper. And I know, because I've looked at these, this is a whole roll of wheat pennies. So there are 50 in here. I'll put that there. And 
and I know from looking at these that these this is a whole roll of Buffalo no I'm sorry Liberty Dimes yeah these are all Liberty Dimes and finally we just have a um in general we have a loose collection of different uh, coins and I do believe these are all from the United States except this <laughs> this one's cute this is from the uh, election between Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan and it's called if you can see the president picker <laughs> if coin lands on edge vote Anderson <laughs> It feels like it's made out of some sort of plastic, but it's made to look like a real coin. At limited edition, one side says vote Carter, and the other side says vote Reagan. <laughs> it was made, uh, copyright July 1980, Ed Myrick. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Alright, I think we'll start with the silver dollars. Here's one from 1971. You can see the... Is this the Earth back there? Oh, he's landing on the moon. That's what he's doing. Yeah, it says E Pluribus Unum. E Pluribus Unum. United States of America, one dollar. And again, I think I'll sort them according to their worth. We'll put the little president picker right there. Or would he sit on the easel? There we go. And another silver dollar. If I can get it. And this one has the moon and the Liberty Bell on it. It's uh, the bicentennial from 1976, celebrating 200 years of freedom. And here's another one. It's pretty. Um, pretty rough. It's not as shiny as the other. Here's another one from 1971. And you can just, you can hear the weight. When I get them all together, I want you to hear, you can hear how heavy these are. And I want you to think about that. If you live in America, the next time you handle some change, think about how it feels. Think about the weight. Think about the sound and compare it to these. I wish you could feel these. Um, and if you ever get a chance to uh, handle and examine some of our older currency, you really should. And compare it to what we have today and see, and you can see the change in it. The quality is different. The artistry is different. And in my opinion, it just doesn't compare to these older coins. Here's another one from 1971. <clears throat> and another one from 1971. And that's a half dollar. Okay. One more. Also from 1971. I used to get these under my pillow from the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> I have a stack here of these silver dollars. Listen, just listen to this. You can almost hear the weight. They have substance to them. very impressive. I mean, you can hear them on the table just, <laughs> they just drop. Okay. This is a half dollar from 1977. It's smaller as you can see. And, and this is a Susan B. Anthony 1979. This is worth one dollar. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is Tin Dong. I can read that on the back. I can't really see the front of this at all. It's all green. I don't know what that is. 
But I wanted to show you something about the Susan B. Anthony. That is not from the United States. <laughs> that might be from Thailand or somewhere. And again, I'm sure this is something my dad brought back from somewhere. I know he went to Thailand at least once. Oh, that's Canadian. That is a Canadian quarter from 1949. Okay, maybe it's not all from the United States. I wanted to show you something, though, about this. If I can find a quarter. That's not a quarter, good lord. That's got roses on it, or flowers. 100 something. <laughs> I don't know where that's from. <laughs> it's quite lovely, but I don't know where it came from. I don't think I have any quarters in here. But anyway, this was a Susan B. Anthony one dollar coin. And I don't know if it's an urban legend or if it's really true, but I think they stopped making these. Um, because I think they're about the same size as a quarter and blind people couldn't tell the difference. I could be wrong about that, but I heard that somewhere. But this is one from 1979. And now this is what... I think dimes still look like this now. This is from a dime from 1946. And this is the more conventional nickel, although they recently changed our nickels again, and now they, I can't even remember what's on them. It's got, it still has Thomas Jefferson's face on it, but it's like a really close-up shot of his face. And here we have E Pluribus Unum. And this is Monticello again, five cents, the United States of America. And this one is from 1941. Hmm. 1964 dime and then I have quite a few more dimes and the dimes are thinner than the nickels but they do have the the ridge along the edge like a quarter or a half dollar or a silver dollar it looks like most of these are from the 60s oh no I'm sorry there's a Canadian dime um, from 1963 And then I have um, more wheat pennies. These are, I believe these are all wheat pennies from the 40s. And <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sorry. I have a little frog in my throat. I'm trying to get sick. Well, I'm not trying, but I'm certainly succeeding. <laughs> of these pennies. You don't see many wheat pennies anymore in circulation. Most of them have been taken out. Lots of pennies. I could about do another roll. I have so many. And a nickel from 1940. So you can see uh, the buffalo is gone. I'm not really sure when they stopped making the buffalo nickels. It was way before my time. There's another one from 1940. Um, a dime from 1964. They keep changing the appearance of our money. I mean, I feel like there's one from 1959. It just seems to me like we have better things to spend our time and resources on than changing the money every few years. But nobody asked me. <laughs> I thought it was fine the way it was. Mm -hmm. Lots of pennies. 1954. And these are mostly just nickels and dimes. Nope, this is different. This is a Canadian nickel from 1961. And this is not American. This is uh, 
again, this is from some Eastern, let's see, some Asian country. It says one, and the rest I can't read. <laughs> Might be Japanese, or no. Some of these might have come from Thailand, because I know my dad went there while he was in Vietnam. Brought back a beautiful jewelry box made out of teak wood, and my mom gave it to me. I think I used it in one of my videos, but I could be wrong about that. I think I thought about using it, and then I didn't. I should use it in a video. It's really pretty. It's a a music box. You wind it up and it plays music. More dimes from the 40s. And some more wheat pennies. There was a bunch on the side I missed. This is a very noisy tin. <laughs> Very clangy. <laughs> okay, here's a quarter. I can compare it to the Susan B. Anthony. Well, they're not exactly the same size, but they're pretty close. It seems like there was some coin, and I was thinking it was a Susan B. Anthony and that they stopped making because blind people couldn't had a hard time telling them apart. And they do kind of feel the same, although the edges are right around the border. It's a little different. In the back, even. Well, this is a bicentennial quarter from 1976, but that's why it has the man on here. I could be wrong about that. I don't know, but I think that's why they stopped making them. And another bicentennial quarter. And two more dimes. And one more nickel. Okay, okay, I'll put them all together. <laughs> I'm not going to put them all back in there right now because that tin is just so noisy. <laughs> but I really appreciate you watching my video. I do plan to do a whisper uh, version of this video later today if at all possible. But I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that I can get the Whisper version done today. If not, I'll try to do it tomorrow. I hope that you enjoyed my collection, or my mom's collection, and uh, I'd like to tell her thank you for letting me borrow it. And letting me show you all these nice items. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again soon.